hello. I just wanted to jump on. Oh, and break my phone, apparently. No, let's not do that, because this phone is expensive. So, I just wanted to jump on and say a few things. Um, I know it's been a long time since I posted, because um, I only have two brain cells left, and they're both fighting for attention. But I wanted to just really quickly talk about two things that have kind of been bugging me lately. And I have my notes right here. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to jump right in. Okay? Should I back up? I'm too close. Is that better? Whatever, anyways. So, the first is the don't say gay which is not a bill, it's actually an act. Um, it doesn't say the word gay once in the entire text of the act, or the bill, whatever you want to call it. It's actually called the Parental Rights and Education Act, and it's literally just so that parents can be assured that gender identity and sexual orientation and all this leftist crap that's being pushed right now, this, this agenda, is not being taught to kindergartners, first, second, or third graders. That's all that this act is. Also, if that stuff is not being taught to kids already, why are y'all so mad that this act was passed? If you're not trying to sexualize kids, why are you so mad that this act was passed in the first place? That's really saying a lot about the, the kind of stuff that you're trying to push. And the, the, what's that one phrase? Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned? Is that, is that it, right? If you mess with moms and their children, you are going to meet a fury you have never seen. So you need to stop while you're ahead, seriously. And the second thing is Roe v. Wade getting overturned. It's not gonna make abortion illegal, even if it should. Um, it's just literally all that Roe v. Wade being overturned is gonna do is give back each state individual rights to determine what their laws and restrictions are on abortion. And so, a lot of the people like to say, well, it's just a fetus, but it's not human. Then what is it a fetus of? Because creatures can only gestate what they are. Like, if I ever had a kid, I would only have a human baby. I would not give birth to a dolphin or an alligator or a squid or a shrimp. It would be a baby, a human baby. And so if it's Regardless of what age it is at or stage in development, that is a human from the moment of conception. That is just how biology works. And so for you guys to say that we're always denying science, it seems like you've forgotten that biology is science and that you can open up any, any textbook, even a quick Google search will tell you that life begins at conception. So I don't know, I do know it's a sin issue. And it really breaks my heart that you guys are so selfish that you won't even give the life you chose to create the chance to live. And I am so over the what about rape argument because it doesn't matter. You guys are still not willing to ban abortion in every other circumstance other than rape, which even I don't think it should be allowed in. Because last time I checked, rape was the crime and not conception. And that baby still has a story to tell and that life still has value put on it. It doesn't matter where it came from. Life is valuable at any stage. So, if you're going to try to use the viability argument, which I also hate because, well, we'll get to that. The youngest baby ever born to survive was 21 weeks and one day. I forgot his name, but I'll try to put it right here. It was a boy. And he survived. And he, well, I haven't really kept up with him, but I'm sure by now he's thriving. I don't know like what year he was born, but he was only 21 weeks and one day old and he survived. So to say that it's just a clump of cells is not only biologically wrong, because technically I'm a clump of cells. Do you think it's okay to just kill anybody that inconveniences your life because they're a clump of cells? Every, every living creature is a clump of cells. You can't just kill anybody just because you want to. And even then, viability, newborns aren't viable on their own. They have to have someone tending to their every need. A two-year-old is not viable on their own. A four, five, six, seven, eight-year-old is not viable on their own, viable, because they have to have someone taking care of them. And they have to have someone making them food and giving them somewhere to live, you know, basic human necessities. So, it's just annoying. I heard this phrase that I really like and it was, Abortion is the sacrifice on the altar of convenience, and that is absolutely true. 
it's really, really pathetic that you guys want pleasure without responsibility, and that's not how that works. If you don't want babies, then don't have sex or use protection. It's so simple to avoid getting pregnant. The most 100% sure way, my fan is blowing right into my eyeballs and it's making them so dry. I feel like I look like a lunatic sitting here saying this. Oh my gosh, I almost knocked it over. Okay, anyways, what I was saying is it's very selfish that you guys think you can have pleasure without responsibility. Every human, every sane human knows that the biological consequence of sex is conception. Unless, you know, obviously you're infertile or a man, then you can't really have babies if you're a man. It's just really selfish and you guys are never going to admit that because you always think you have to be right, even though in this case you are terribly wrong. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. It's really sad that y'all are pushing this stuff on children, but any evil mastermind knows that if you want to indoctrinate a nation, you start with the children. So, really, you're just it's just sick. It's sick that you think that this stuff is okay like teaching critical race theory to kindergartners. That is so wrong on so many levels. You're not born into victimhood because you're born a certain color. You choose what you let affect you. And it's ridiculous that you guys think that something as innate or unchangeable as race determines how people treat you. The way that you act is how it determines, wow, English would be amazing. The way that you act is what determines how people treat you. So if you want to act like a lunatic, you're going to get treated like one. If you want to act like a victim, you're going to get treated like one. I would rather have someone tell me the truth than find out that they're all victim sympathizers and that they're just coddling me so I don't feel like life is hard because life is hard. Life is hard and there are lots of challenges and you're going to meet a bunch of people that you don't like with different opinions. And just because someone holds a different opinion than you, it doesn't mean that they're stupid or brainwashed, it means that they have a different opinion than you. And some of you really need to get that through your head because I'm so tired of being told that because I'm white or because I'm a Christian or because I'm a, cons I'm a conservative that I'm brainwashed and that's so sad. I'm not brainwashed. I just have a high moral compass because I was raised in a Christian household and I believe that the word of God is true and authentic and real and living, which is not something you guys can relate to, which I also don't know how you can say that God is not real but then live by his moral standard of you know, like not murdering people, except for when it comes to unborn babies somehow like it's dumb that you guys would say that um a baby i see 21 weeks in one day inside the womb is not a baby it's not alive it's just a clump of cells a 21 week and one day old baby outside the womb is now suddenly a, a living human that's worthy of living your value of life is not dependent upon location if you are an unborn baby in the womb you hold the same life value as a senior citizen in a nursing home that is bedridden. All life has value, whether you want to acknowledge that or not. Also, I don't think you guys really realize that by committing all these abortions, you guys are maybe wiping out the next generation of pro-choice people because you're not going to be here forever. So, just some, some food for thought. Food for thought for food? Food for thought. That's right, isn't it? Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Oh, also, Disney, we had a good run, but you're going down the toilet. Don't let all this stuff onto your platform. The other day at work, I saw a magazine about Walt Disney, and it was saying, will his legacy survive? And the answer is no. The short, ripping the band-aid off answer is no. Walt Disney's legacy is not going to survive. Okay, anyways, that's it. Goodbye. Oh, if you're gonna leave nasty comments under my video, just just don't don't waste your time. Just keep going. Life is too short to do all that. No, goodbye. I was just looking back through my overlays that I was gonna add to this video, and I was reading more into what the "Don't Say Gay" bill is really about, and it's it's basically not teaching children that they can choose their identity before they know how to spell their name, and it's kind of sick. Like, they're still learning what boy and girl means, and so for you to throw into their face that they can be either or is really confusing and just flat out unfair. 
Children are so inherently innocent, and that innocence is a beautiful thing, and it should be protected for as long as possible. Children are our future, and if we get them confused from so early on, our future is going to be a mess. And you guys already see the chaos that we're in right now. <laughs> Don't corrupt these children before they've even had a chance to live. It's just not fair. Um... I already know that you guys don't support freedom of speech. The least you could do is support freedom of thought and let these kids decide who they are on their own. The same way that you guys are disregarding uh, people who choose to detransition because they realized it wasn't for them. Those are voices that shouldn't be silenced because a lot of lives are being ruined from transitioning and then realizing that it was a mistake. And those are things that aren't that are irreversible. If you start taking hormone blockers and you suppress your puberty as like a 10 year old, you're never going to be fully developed. And then if you choose later on in your life that that's not something you want anymore, you can't go back. Especially if you have like physical augmentations like breast, um, a double mastectomy, that your, your breasts can be reattached but they're never going to function the way that God intended them to. You can never, well... I don't know if you could like replace your uterus. I don't know why you'd want to take it out in the first place. That's disgusting. Um, you know, you can never, there are just some things you can't undo. You know, even if you reverse all those surgeries, your voice is still going to be different. You're still going to have unnecessary body hair. I mean, like my arms are hairy, but it's, 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 I'm just broken on the inside. Um, I think the world needs to spend a lot more time thinking than doing and saying. Um, now the video is really over. Okay, goodbye. I will see you, who knows when, with something else dumb to rant about sometime in the future.